Man, I don't know if I'm live or not. It used to have, uh, right on the edge of my computer is a little uh, counter. And it used to sh show when I start and when I end. And, and now it's saying end live video. I don't even recall start, but it says I'm live. Okay, first of all, at, assuming I'm live. And for that, I'll do this again. If somebody can tell me if I'm live, I, I would really appreciate that. But my cousin Sam is being prepped right now. They finally found another heart. And and they're getting them all ready. They already got a room for them upstairs to, to recover. And, and the team is getting all the, the transplant coordinator contacted him. And uh, I just got off the phone with him. And if... If all goes right within the next hour or two, he's going in for surgery. So it's about an eight-hour surgery. And so if you could be praying for him and also his wife, Myra, it's hard on her because she also has to take care of Sam's mother who is has uh, uh, dementia. And uh, so she's got to run back and forth. I had a lady that said she was going to come, but she... She decided to go to Las Vegas instead. Shame on her, you know. And so now we're contacting some other relatives, and she's getting contact with her, with Myra, with her family uh, to come there. And so if you can be praying about that. Second thing, the election. I'm, a, I'm just going to be straight up. If... if, if if you have any sensibility at all, any common sense, any decency, if you love right, you cannot vote Democrat for Kamala Harris and that guy Waltz. Okay, he's already saying that if, if they win, they want to put AOC um, as Speaker of the House. Uh, these are evil people doing wicked evil things you won't have a country left if they are elected we will go into apostasy okay and anarchy uh, what's the difference between the two apostasy is basically falling away from the faith which is what most christians have done anyway or they would not allow this to happen you know, or they would stand up and fight and say, so hey, all these pastors and different religious people, they're scared to say anything. Why? God says, if I'm for you, who can be against you? If you don't stand up for righteousness sake, who will? It's sad to see so many Christians lay down like cowards, you know, and pastors. Oh, I don't I'll lose my 501c3. Who cares? You don't even need, in fact, they have got you so scared that you think you're going to lose that. You're not going to lose that. You can say whatever you want to say. They have misunderstood and misconstrued what it is to be separated from church and state. You can't speak from the pulpit and not speak the truth. Unless you're just a, a fraud. So I'm going to say this. If, okay, so there's apostasy. It's falling away. Anarchy. Anarchy is when there's no longer any respect for the rule of law, which we already have. With the Justice Department, the FBI, all the certain Democrats that have done some of the most... They've done the very things they're accusing Trump of doing. You know, the collusion, the, the, the January 6th so-called riot. They weren't rioting all year long. Kamala Harris gave money to bail out people for that guy that was, they had his knee on his neck and he said, I can't breathe. Well, of course you can't breathe. You've been doing drugs all day and for years and smoking and carrying on. And now they got that good cop in jail for that and many others and many people on January 6th that stood up for what was right. Trump didn't call for any, you know, revolution. And if he had, there would have been one. So let me just say this. If you vote Democrat, you're a friend of Satan. 
You're a friend of the devil. You're his ambassador. And you hate God. And you hate his word. Okay? If you're Catholic and you vote Democrat, you're also accessory to murder. Okay? Anybody that votes, that puts somebody in office, that can create and legalize abortion as a legal practice is an accessory to murder. Before this country? No. Before God? Yes. Okay. Who, who do you think is going to hold you most accountable? This country or God? You can civilize and try to professionalize and try to medicalize, you know, terms like abortion in place of murder, call a baby a fetus. You can say and try to color it up and try to recategorize. You can try to call a boy a girl, girl a boy. You can try to say that transgenders can have children. You can say all that you want, but it's not reality. It's part of satanic agenda to try to get this world ushered into a one world government, a one world people, so they can come under his control. It's going to happen. You want to be a part of that? Go ahead, vote Democrat. Shame on you. Uh, I made up my mind a long time ago. This, for me, as long as I've been studying politics and, and, and theology and Bible and all this, this goes back to the 70s. I can see this trend coming way uh, a long time ago. And I made up my mind way back then. I was not going to support it. When Clinton came on, there was no way. I've never used the title president in front of Clinton or Obama or Biden. I call them by their last name. Okay, but I have never respected their role as a leader of this country. And I won't. You know, mainly because of the things they stood for and what they brought in. Okay. I serve the Lord, my King, and Him, and Him first and foremost. Now, what will happen, hypothetically, immediately, if Kamala and that Waltz guy wins? What are you going to do? You're going to adjust? You're going to fight? You're going to leave this country? What are you going to do? Do you have a plan? I have one. I don't reveal it because I don't want anybody to know. But you need to have one just in case. What are you going to do if Trump is elected? They're going to attack him left and right. They're not going to lay down. You understand something about the Democrats of today, not the yesterday year. Okay? The Democrats of today do not play fair. Okay, they lie, they cheat, they commit violence, murder. They'll do anything in the world to stay in power. They do not play fair. You could not win against them playing along their terms. You got to come to your own terms that you know that they will respect and that they will listen to. Okay, that's all I'm going to say. Pray for Sam. I'll bring you up to date. All goes right. He goes in surgery in about two hours. And um, God bless you. Keep praying. Keep doing the right thing. Be a voice for righteousness' sake. I'll talk to you later.